number one Iron Age booty daddy. It's time to return to the reason that a lot of you are here today. That's right, Eric July and the Ripperverse just announced their new writer for the Alpha Core number one. Now, for those who have been following Eric July, this doesn't really come as a shock to most of us. What this does come as a shock to is a lot of the mainstream comic industry. Now, it was announced today that Chuck Dixon, the guy who is most well known for his writing when it comes to the Batman family back in the 90s, it decided to sign on with the Ripperverse. Now, somebody of that caliber of writing, where in the 90s was just booming for a lot of comic books. Now, again, I do have to preface this. I have always been a movie and TV guy. I've watched a lot of the animated shows, I've watched a lot of the animated films, and I've watched even some of the garbage tier live action films that have come out. So for me, Chuck Dixon is newer to my realm of knowledge, but you know what? That's what Eric July did. He brought a lot of people into a whole new world with the enthusiasm around the Ripperverse. And I'm one of those guys, fully admit it. And so if you guys have something to say like, hey dude, how could you not know? You are more than welcome to shame me in the chat or use my unfinished wall here to meme because apparently a blue wall is really good for memeing. So what does this ultimately mean for independent comic books and comic creators and now comic book companies? That's right, we're not just at independent comic book creators anymore. We're talking companies now, which is fantastic. Eric July did something with Ripaverse Comics that I don't think a lot of people were expecting. And I don't think a lot of people realized the enthusiasm around it. A $3.7 million campaign that he paid for the comic book himself outright to begin with. He found good paper. He did all of these things to make sure that it was pretty much ready to go on launch. And it crashed day one because of the overwhelming amount of enthusiasm. He was even stress testing the website days before he made the initial announcement. Now, with Chuck Dixon signing on, I would say that for those who aren't aware, this is something a long time coming. Now, they've done a couple of interviews together, and I believe in the first interview that they did that I caught, at the very end of it, Eric said, man, I would love to work with you on something. And Chuck said, yeah, let me know. And ultimately, this is something that all of us were like, okay, he's going to get Chuck Dixon. Like, that's just how Rippa is. Rippa gets what he wants. He's that kind of person, which is a fantastic person to follow. He's very motivational to a lot of people, and it would be very hard for a guy like Chuck Dixon to say no, especially since Chuck Dixon's somewhat blacklisted in, well, the realm of mainstream comic books. So ultimately, when you get a guy of the caliber of Chuck Dixon, what does this mean for independent comic books as it is, or the Iron Age as we have so affectionately called it? Well, I think what this means is as we start to see the success of some of these indie guys, whether larger or smaller, and there is an argument between is, it, is the success really only for the big dogs like, you know, Eric July and obviously Razor Fist and even some other guys who are a little bit smaller but still well known like Drunk 3PO or will this market kind of be there for everyone even the smaller creators well I think we're going to find out and I think what we're going to find out is for those people who come out and do a fantastic successful first campaign we're going to start seeing the interest from artists and writers to help with second campaigns to make them even more successful this opens up the market to a lot of independent creators now looking for the top tiers out there, the top tier writers, the top tier artists, the top tier anchors, the top tier pencilers, right? And I think if Eric does a successful campaign number two, now I don't know if it's going to be the 3.7 million that he got in the first run or if it's going to fall short of that. That is yet to be seen. However, I will say this, with a lot of people in the space being excited to see Chuck Dixon back writing with somebody who believes in the same things that they believe in and with somebody who doesn't want to preach you a message but just give you a good story, we're hopefully going to see the renaissance of the Iron Age. We're hopefully going to see the hard work pay off and 
as the saying goes, a rising tide lifts all ships. Now, these are my overall thoughts on this and that how it's going to benefit small creators as well. I think the first campaign that Eric July did benefited a lot of people, and I think it's benefiting further people. I think it was proof that you could do a crowdfunded, or I'm sorry, not a crowdfunded, but a campaign, a comic book campaign. You could do a, cam a comic book campaign and compete, if not beat, the big guys. If that holds true, we're going to start to see the top tier guys leave and come in and start working with the indies. And from that, I believe we are going to start seeing more independent comic book companies or Iron Age comic book companies, as I would like to call them. So overall, what do you think about the announcement of Chuck Dixon? Did it take you by surprise? Were you just, did your jaw, did your jaw just bounce off the ground? God, I can't talk today. Well, it's a drink with crazy, I guess. Did, were you taken back by that announcement? Or like me, were you just like, yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. We just had to wait for the ink to dry on the paper and for the deal to get worked out, but we kind of knew it was coming. Let me know down in the comments below, and never forget, if you guys comment down below, I dedicate a special live stream to you every single week. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central every single Sunday, and that's where I go and I read all of your comments. And why do I do that? Because if you have a problem with what I say, or if you like what I say, or if you just want to give me a whole mess of crap, that's where you can do it. So join me over on Sunday Coffee, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.